Yeah, Brad Schumpkel here from Ditch the Grind. Um, welcome back. If you have been following any of my videos in the past, um, welcome if it is your first time. Uh, in which case, if it is, then please take a second to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so that you get uh, notified of any upcoming videos that we will be doing in the future. And um, if you get some value out of today's video, then um, I hope you would give us a thumbs up for the video. So, awesome. Um, so today we're talking about uh, five ways to generate leads online for your MLM business. Um, now for me personally, this is myself stepping a little bit out of my comfort zone as MLMs are not generally one of the things I, that I would put out there first and foremost because um, if you've seen any of my other videos, I've been burnt by MLMs in the past and one of the things that, push, put, that puts me off most is the pushy sales tactics and the um, outrageous claims of you know um, life-changing income with little to no effort um, I just I'd like that life life doesn't work that way so um, and despite like I, now I know that uh, but I did my best to try and sort of uh, see where those sorts of things led in the past and um, it ultimately led to my um, hopes and dreams crashing and burning so um, I don't want that for you guys any more than I want it for myself so um, yeah, I'm only going to be, uh, to my, to the best of my ability, I'm only going to be talking about things that I know, uh, work because I've been involved in them personally myself, or I have been approached by someone who is in the industry and that someone is someone that I, I would like and trust. Um, so yeah. So without further ado, let's get started. Uh, five ways to generate leads online for your MLM business. So number one. Um, a little bit of a long-winded way to do it, but you can create a website, um, and it can be a website based around the product or service that your MLM provides. Uh, so it's nowadays like it's it's relatively quick and easy and quite cost-effective to just slap up a quick website, uh, WordPress or Wix or anything like that, and um, you know, and just have have it looking beautiful. And um, you know, all all set right so that it's got like the you know the right SEO and everything, and, um, and you just share that amongst your network, and um, you design it around the uh, MLM that you're associated with, and um, basically you just kind of share information and your findings on your products, and um, yeah, you generate interest and create like. Uh, build an authority and a following by using that website. So, um, another one, another way to do it is to build an email list. Now this one's a really good one, um, and this is an even longer sort of uh, tailed method to doing that. Um, but the thing about having an email list that you can promote to is the email list itself is a, like a, it's, it's an actual asset. So. Um, where it differs from you having subscribers on a YouTube channel or followers on Twitter or followers on Instagram is that those platforms, whenever you have those followers or subscribers, you don't own that list or that database. Whereas when you have an email list, you do own that list and you can take your email list and you can save it anywhere and you always have that email list. Um, and you can continue to market to them down the track and as you sort of you start to build your authority with them so um, it's, it's a, a fantastic way to um, to build a good customer base and like a good list of followers and you can always update them at any time um, I, I follow a lot of Russell Brunson um, the co-founder of ClickFunnels and he is an advocate of having your email list because you using that email list that he built um, was the one thing that managed to keep him out of financial ruin on a couple of times. Um, if you ever get the chance to check him out, he, like his what he's done and what he's been through is is, is truly phenomenal. Um, and I'll, I'll be sharing a lot more stuff about him in the uh, videos to come. Um, yeah, so it's the method around building an email list is not that straightforward, but um, it's. It, it, it is like a really, really valuable step. And that's another video that I will be making in the future too. So please, as I said before, hit the subscribe button um, and then you'll be notified of when a video like that might come up. And we can look at the various ways that you can drive traffic and then look to create this email list by um, 
giving value, answering questions, um, and creating a, a, like a tribe and a following. So, um, the way an email list uh, works well is with number three, which is creating content. Um, creating content comes in many forms, a lot like uh, the video that I'm creating for you now. Uh, it's a form of content. It could be blog posts, could be social media posts, um, it could be like articles on your website that we um, looked at in um, method number one. Um, those sorts of things. So creating engaging content that people start to uh, relate to or they start to follow because you give good value. So when you create content, you wanna be addressing problems or issues or questions that people have um, and you essentially you wanna be solving problems because when you can do that, then people will start to look for your help and your advice and they start to know, like, and trust you. And once you do that, and people do have established that, um, that basis of trust with you, then it becomes much easier to market to them um, because you, you break it, you've broken down a lot of the barriers that come with selling anything online. These days, a lot of people, like people it's, it's easy to get your message out in front of a lot of people, but there's so many people doing it that people, have, people are a lot more wary of it. Um, so that all, especially if you're relatively uh, new and unknown, it takes a little bit of time to build that, that trust with people. Um, so once upon a time, it used to be pretty easy to just throw out a link um, with a buy button and people could go there and purchase. But it's unfortunately, thanks to a lot of scam artists out there, it's, it's not that easy anymore. Um, and, then, and then in saying that too, it's, it's given us it's forced us to go down a path where we have to actually engage with our audience, our followers, and actually build genuine, um, like a genuine relationship. So it's, it's some ways it's bad and some ways it's quite good too. So um, yeah, step three, creating content. Um, like I said before, uh, creating content, number four is using social media. So um, in this regard, it's using social media and things like say Facebook groups, for example, where you um, you know you join these groups um, based around a particular topic that are um, like ha have congruency with the MLM product or service that you have, and then you go in there and you you, you don't go in there. You just start throwing your um, referral links around because that's a good way to get booted. Um, in most groups, when you ask to join, that's it's it's one of the first rules that you'll have to. Um, one of the first questions that you'll have to answer, and it's one of the rules is no spamming, no private uh, promotion or anything like, or personal promotion or anything like that. And, it, and that's fair enough because it is, it's, it's garbage. And you shouldn't be doing that. But um, a good way to do it is to just stay engaged with that group. Um, any questions that get, uh, that get asked, um, to the best of your knowledge and ability, you answer those questions and you provide good value. And that way when you're doing that, this is again, is quite a slow, way to do it but I guess amongst the overall bubble and under, under the overall bubble it's a good way to slowly build a good following because you create that that you know you, you, you identify yourself as a uh, as, as an authority so people begin to notice you they remember you oh, this guy or this girl uh, they're answering this question, they have a lot of knowledge on it, they're always really helpful, they're friendly, they're approachable, they go out of their way to help and you just give, you give immense value. And you do it like you're doing it for free because you do, that's, that's what it's all about. You're looking for ways to solve problems and when you can solve someone's problem, then people are gonna be more likely to part with money to solve a problem that they have. Um, so yeah, that's social media, social media groups, that kind of thing, the same, kinds of things exist on other platforms as well but Facebook groups are one of the most common ones um, and then number five is one of my personal favorites um, because traditional ways with MLMs are basically the things like it's it's generally associated with offline marketing so a lot of things where you might <laughs> you might have you know parties invite people over and then you pitch them and that kind of thing um, it's been going on for a, like for a long time, and it's one of those. I like me personally. I'm not comfortable with that. Um, approaching members in your personal network, so it might be like your friends and family. Again, I'm not comfortable with that because I like to keep 
that side of my life separate from my business side of things. And that's just how I function. Some people, like my my sponsor and to an MLM that um, I've spoken about uh, in another video, and I'll leave the link for that in the description. Um, he is just, that's what comes to him naturally. But because it, it comes to him naturally, he does it in a way where he's not selling. So he, he doesn't have to necessarily kind of pitch people and he's not doing any kind of persuasion or anything. He just introduces them to an idea and people are either comfortable with it or they're not. And they don't go away and like, they don't go away feeling like they've been you know, violated or their friendship is over and how dare you, like how dare you approach me with this because it's unfortunately, um, people have taken that approach in the past and uh, lost family members and and um, you know friends as a result of it. So, um, paid ads and funnel strategies for myself is because that's where the majority of my online knowledge is from is from creating marketing funnels and paid advertising through YouTube ads and Facebook ads, um, using them in conjunction with sales funnels, and um, I like them because I don't have to approach a smaller um, base I can widen my horizon and then I can capture as many people as I can and I can funnel them through a system and I can uh, identify that way who is genuinely and I can a appeal or attract those appeal to or attract those people that are genuinely interested in what it is that I am involved with um, so in this case with the MLM that I am a part of it is uh, it's, it's first and foremost, it is not a an MLM product or service. Uh, first and foremost, it is a foreign exchange platform where people can um, they can purchase a pack, and then that pack has an, uh, has has a value that gets traded on the foreign exchange market on a weekly basis. So, um, with that being said, I can go out and I can find people that are interested in the foreign ex in earning money from a foreign exchange platform and then I can bring them on board and then I can funnel them through this whole process and then show them the MLM side of things because this is a product and service that I 100% believe in so I am likely to share that with other people that are looking for the same sort of thing and I know how to target those sorts of people I know how to create ads that attract those sorts of people and I know how to to funnel them through in a logical way on the customer journey so that they don't feel like they're being sold to. Um, and paid ads, it's th there's a bit of a science to it and again, th there's a videos that I'm gonna be doing more of in the future, so um, be sure, as I said earlier, to uh, subscribe and hit the notification bell so that when that video does come out, you'll be one of the first ones to know and I can look forward to seeing you there. Um, with that being said, uh, I'll leave this video now and um, just keep an eye out for, if you do subscribe, then keep an eye out for the next video that I'll be dropping um, sometime in the next few days. So, uh, Brad from Ditch the Grind, thanks for watching. I hope to see you soon.